What is up, people of the internet? This is Brownstone here coming to you with a new video. And now, I am going full on blue. Or not, that just looks ugly. Anyway, yeah. The reason why I did that is, uh. Well, the reason why I tried that is because, well, Avatar, James Cameron's Avatar, mind you, not the anime. <laughs> Seriously, why do they have the same title? It's, yeah, there's a little story behind that, but I'm not gonna go into it. Is re releasing in theaters September 23rd, which is not long from now. And I have to say, I am so excited to see it. Now, I'm just gonna drop a little bombshell on you guys. Normally, when I talk about these movies, I talk about talk about movies, I see them before I, uh, uh, before I talk about them. But I have never seen Avatar. <gasps> yep. I have never seen it. Which is why I am very, very excited for this re-release. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about why that re-release of Avatar matters. Not only to the uh, to the diehard fans and fans of this uh, of, of, of this movie, but also to those who haven't seen it before, like myself. So it's no surprise that James Cameron's Avatar. Avatar got kind of a mixed reception upon release. <laughs> some people were, uh, uh, so some people were, some people were praising it left and right. Others were like, "This is just Pocahontas but blue." And where do I stand? Well, since I've never seen it, I'm, I, I can't really give a definitive opinion. But from what I've seen, yes, I've actually, I actually know the world of this movie. And how and how how is that possible? Well, I well I fell in love with Avatar through the ride at Walt Disney World. So I've mentioned before, I've I've posted like clips from from my trip to Walt Disney World, and uh, I've actually been to Animal Kingdom. That's actually the, the park that I spent spent the most time at when I was at Walt Disney World. I think earlier this year, and I went on the Avatar Flight of Passage ride several times. Now, I did not know anything anything about Avatar. So learning about all about the Navi and all that all this stuff was was news to me. And uh, Dr. Jack Jackie Ogden or was that or was that for the dinosaur right? Probably no, I think different. Different. Anyway, I or the doctor who was speaking on speaking on who's speaking on who's speaking on, on screen. I have a feeling she's supposed to be in that she's supposed to be a character character from the movie. So I'll be interested interested to see her portrayal there. And yeah, the ride was actually pretty cool. Those of you who have been on the ride, you'll know that when when you get into the link chairs, that that when they slam that thing on thing on your back, it's painful. There's actually a there's actually a cool trick for that. Like you like you kind of like maybe like lean in or something. If I recall correctly, my dad told me to like lean lean in so it doesn't so it's not that painful. Well, eventually I got the hang of it after going on the ride about like. What, for the seventh time? And after the seventh time, I was like, oh, that's how it works. Sorry for the jump cut. I got a notification on my iPad as I'm recording this. So, um... So, um, yeah. Uh, back to the topic and topic at hand. I'm going to be talking about why the re-release of Avatar matters. Now, uh, for those of you who have been keeping up, keeping up with the news, news the re-release of Avatar may seem like a stupid decision. Because even though the movie came out to mix uh, to, uh, to mix m m mix reception at the time, it has gone on to become a cult classic, and uh, and many people are still praising it for the uh, for the absolutely outstanding visual uh, visual effects, fantastic CGI, and and compelling characters. Characters. So 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 yeah, it's become a cultural from cultural phenomenon, really. So. What is Disney, Disney and James Cameron's uh, reason for re for for re-releasing the movie? They want to remind people that it exists in preparation for the sequel. Now I understand James Cameron's fears, but really the reasoning the reasoning for for re-releasing this movie is one of the stupidest I have ever I have ever heard. I know, like uh, I know they didn't phrase it, phrase it, phrase it that way, but come on, you got to read between the lines. I mean, I'm mean, gonna read between the lines here. They want to get people caught up on what the what the first movie was in order to 
uh, to um, have viewers understand the sequel. Essentially, they're saying they want to remind people that the first movie exists. Like, why do you want to remind people that the first movie exists? They know the first movie exists. Maybe it's because Avatar The Last Air, in the Airbender is all people to, all, 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 all people talk about, and they want to remind people about the about the uh, the one true Avatar movie. Yeah. Yeah, I've uh, I've not seen the last Airbender, so this is the last Airbender show. So this is my only exposure to the name Avatar. So that's why I call this one the one true Avatar. But despite what, uh, despite the stupid reasoning, the re-release of Avatar actually has some significance because it's die-hard fans. They've seen many copies, copies movie, the extended edition, the collector's director's cut, and and a number of other. Uh, and a number, number of other behind-the-scenes stuff. They purchased the soundtrack and stuff. So this movie has many die-hard fans. And to them, seeing this movie back in theaters is a welcome thing. It, it really is. Because... Because they love the movie. And they and any chance to see it in, on the big screen is a welcome one. I mean... I mean, loving movies like that is, is funny like that. You already see it on the big screen. And you get to experience it with everyone else, but if you get the experience to, if you have to have a chance to rel to relive that experience years later, of course you take it because you love you because you love that love that experience at the time. You love seeing 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 seeing, seeing, seeing the audience's re reaction and stuff. You like being in that theater space. I'm one. I'm the sort of person who likes being in that theater theater space. So I, I like and I like the theatrical experience of seeing movies. I love seeing movies on DVDs too, but it's just not the same. You don't get the raw feeling of the audience like, ooh, ah, or, or something like that. When they're like, when they're like marveling at, at all the visual uh, uh, visual effects, the story, what's going on, stuff. You don't get that raw feeling of audience reaction. And so that's why it's, it's special to these people, people who love the movie, to uh, I, 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 I see it again. Is it, is it unnecessary? Harry, yes, but it matters a whole lot to uh, to diehard diehard fans. But what about to those who haven't seen seen, seen the movie, those who have no exposure, who, who had no exposure, or have just recently gotten into Avatar but haven't been able to see see, see the movie on the big screen? I mean, this movie was was quote unquote made for theaters. And the directors confirmed it. Everyone confirmed it that that the visual effects were made for the theatrical experience, the, the CGI, the beautiful world, all that. So what about to those who haven't seen the movie? This could be their chance to, to see it. So... So, uh... Hmm. uh so yeah, I think I think the most important thing that these, uh... The most important thing for people for, for, for people who haven't seen the movie is, is the chance to see see the movie the way it was meant to be seen. And I'm speaking I'm speaking from a personal point of view here. Because I'm in that camp. I'm, I've never seen this movie. And I'm really excited to go see it. So, so yeah, I'll probably post the review of the movie, of the re-release when it comes out because uh, I, I like keeping up with with uh, what's going on. So, so yeah, if I see people talking about the re-release, I'm gonna definitely post the review, a uh, post the review of it. I might post a review of it regardless of regardless if people are talking about it or not because, well, I've never seen this movie, so I want to review it. So. So yeah, to people like me who have never seen this, never, never seen, seen, never seen, seen this movie, this is a welcome opportunity to really, uh, to really get to relive that theatrical, theatrical experience. Because I, I haven't seen this movie in theaters, but from what I heard, it really was a sight to behold. And going off of, going off of that, I can't wait to be able to, to experience the movie the way it was experienced all the way back into 2009. Because... Because... Uh, the little piece I got from the Avatar ride? Imagine that on the big screen. I mean, it, I mean the Avatar ride was already on a big screen, but... But you get what I mean. I mean, people who have recently gotten into Avatar and stuff, thanks to all the marketing and stuff, they probably... Uh, they probably are sad that they missed out on it. And now they get to go see it. We get two Avatar movies this year. 
the Avatar re-release, and the sequel. And that's the reason why they were, they're releasing this movie, as I mentioned before. To prep viewers, viewers, uh, uh, to prep viewers, viewers for the sequel. And you bet I'm gonna be there, uh, be there the sequel. I may have missed it back in 2009, but I'm not gonna miss the, I'm not gonna miss the sequel. Especially, especially since I heard it's gonna be bigger, bolder, bolder, and it'll have updated visual effects for water as well. The movie's literally called Avatar The Way of Water. So if you thought Aquaman really out, really was ahead of its time in regards to water technology, to simulating water, then you can bet that bet that this movie is gonna is gonna kick every other movie's movie's butt. Yeah, I am just so excited for this, and I know, and I know people who haven't gotten the chance to see this movie probably are too because it's a, it's a special experience. After all the positive feedback, feedback and words of praise you heard about this movie, wouldn't you want the chance to experience it? Experience it the way the, the way it was meant to be seen. A lot of for um, for a lot of movies, a lot of movies have, have become cult classics. Sorry, the camera's going out of focus. But a lot of a, a, a lot of a, a lot of movies have gone on to become hit phenomenon. Phenomenon, but they, but. Viewers never really got the chance to see the movie, succeed, succeed, see the movies they, they love again in theaters. If they didn't see it at the time, too bad, because they're out on DVD and it's not really the same. But there's something rewarding when it comes to this trend of trend of re-releasing movies that I don't think many people are talking about. Some are calling it a money grab, and yes, it is a money grab. Let's get that out of the way. Right? I don't usually usually agree with haters, but. I have to say, say for this point, they're absolutely right. This is a money grab. I mean, James Cameron may have wanted to release the movie to, uh, a, a, to to re-release the movie to remind viewers uh, of of what Avatar is. But who do you think is the one greenlighting green, green, green that decision? Disney, that's who. And they and they must have thought, hmm, Avatar re Avatar release that made that movie made money. That means re-release more money. And there's nothing wrong with that, really. I mean, yeah, it is penny pinching, but but when it but when, but when the movie has this much of a has had this much of a cultural a cultural impact and stuff, impact, and it's got this big of a fan base, I don't think it really matters. I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I, I I mean, yeah, I have to agree that this is a money grab, but because of its significance. I don't think it. I don't think it really matters because the opportunity to see this movie on on the big screen, like you was meant to be meant, meant to be experienced. As I said, Ted, there's a there's a certain there's a certain good thing that comes with all all, all these re-releases. It's, it's because those who didn't get the chance to see the movie in theaters at the time now get to. I mean, the trend started with Morbius, now Spider-Man: No Way Home, and then uh, and then Avatar's coming up. And then Titanic is, is re-releasing in theaters for, uh, for Valentine's Day. Those who didn't get to see any of those movies in theaters now get to. And that's great for people like myself. Because I didn't get to see Avatar in theaters at the time when it came out. I didn't get to see, see, see Titanic in the theaters when it came out. So now I get the chance to see these see these movies the way they the way they're meant, meant to be experienced. The raw feeling, uh, feeling the audience excitement, all that. So even though I have the Avatar Blu-ray, the DVD, all three DVDs, I haven't watched the movie. In spite of how much I absolutely want to watch it, I've held off on watching it because simply because I want to enjoy it theatrically. I want that theatrical experience. I want the, I, I want to feel what what people felt back then when watching this movie. Then afterwards, I'll watch it on Blu-ray because I want to put that DVD to good use. But I want to, I want to watch this theatrically first, because the chance to see this movie, movie in, movie in, in theaters, for those who haven't seen it, and for and for the movie's diehard fan base, is, in my opinion, overwhelms whatever is greater than whatever corporate, corporate uh, meaning or or stupid reasoning was was behind it. Cause yeah, cause yeah, this uh, this move is a grab for more money from Avatar fans, but 
but ultimately, I think the, I think the most important thing is not why they were. Uh, I, the most important thing is not why they were re uh, they're re releasing this movie, but the chance to, but the chance for those uh, those to either relive, relive or uh, relive that 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 amazing experience that they that they experienced so many years ago, and for those who haven't seen it, the chance to experience this movie for the very first time the way it was meant to be seen. Well, that got beat pretty fast, and uh, also they better give me some 3D, uh, 3D, uh, 3D glasses. Give me so yeah, give me those 3D glasses. So yeah, you so yeah, you know I'm gonna be booking up, booking a ticket. Hopefully opening night, but if not opening night, maybe the day after, because because hey, I love it. I lo because hey, uh, hey, I'm obsessed with Avatar now, and I can't wait to see the movie that started started it all. And I'm, I'm definitely going to be there for the sequel as well. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to uh, drop a like and subscribe to be updated on future content. And uh, the next one, uh, I've actually changed changed the next video from talking about talking about the Disney brand to why Lumity is the perfect is, is the perfect ship because obviously, obviously talking about Lumity is more is more popular in regards to our house content. So stay tuned for that. With that out of the way, I will see you guys in the next video.